Hi, I'm John Brownlee, and today I want to talk to you about something that's becoming more and more a part of my arsenal every time I go fishing, and that is fluorocarbon. You've heard about it, I'm sure. Fluorocarbon leader material is amazing stuff because it shares a very similar refractive index with water itself. What that means is, when you put fluorocarbon in the water, it's darn near invisible to fish, much more so than nylon monofilament, which is the most common leader material there is. Now, the problem, of course, with fluorocarbon is that it's expensive. It costs a lot more. But if you think about it, you're only using it for leader, and how much leader do you really use? So the expense is really not that big a deal. The only other problem with it is that sometimes it can be a little more stiff and a little more difficult to tie knots in. But that's really not a big deal either. With a little bit of practice, all that goes away. I recommend using fluorocarbon, and I use it on just about everything these days. Unless, of course, I'm fishing in water that's totally cloudy and nobody can see anything anyway. I hardly ever fish in those conditions, so fluorocarbon is now a big part of what I do every time I go fishing. Let me show you how I use it. This is a typical setup of my rod, a spinning reel loaded with nano fill. In this case, it's eight pound test nano fill, which is Berkeley's amazing unifilament line. Not a braid, not a monofilament. Casts really, really far. What I do is I'll put a bimini twist in the end of the uh, unifilament, and then I'll put on a mono, in this case, fluorocarbon monofilament leader. I got about three and a half feet on here with a loop knot tied to a BDS head and a Berkeley gulp tail. It's a deadly combination. That fluorocarbon, this is 20 pound test fluorocarbon tied on with that loop knot. And this is almost invisible to fish. It's gonna draw more strikes, you're gonna catch more fish using it. Try it out, spend the money, get the fluorocarbon, you're gonna be glad you did. I'm John Brownlee, thanks a lot. So